Hello guys, this will be another video from Androidica and in this video I'll be talking up in how you can save your internal storage, you can you know increase the smoothness of the ROM and the software that you've installed or the Cyanogen mod version that you have installed and how you can save up on potential battery life on the Samsung Galaxy Mini. So to get started you will see that I have the Cyanogen mod 10.1 ROM from Rohan007 from XDA and it's running Android version 4.2.2 there you go, it's running the Android version of 4.2.2 on this device right now and the best thing about this ROM is that it leaves around 27.77 MB of free space even after installing the ROM on the ROM or the device memory so you can actually place many APKs back there inside it so let's go over to manage applications and if you would notice that the Google Play Store gets updated from time to time and it takes up around 10. Point 5, 7 or something around MB of your internal storage. It would also, it Google Play Store would also download the Google Play services that you need for many apps like say Google Keep, uh, Go YouTube and stuff like that for your contacts and people and the new features that Google Play Store provides. So it would also take up around 15 MB of free space. So what you can do is actually download the APKs, the say the updated Google Play Store APK and the Play Services APK and what you can do is open root explorer install root explorer go over to system storage and app and place the and paste those apk's over here like say i have pasted the place if the updated play store apk and the google place and the google play services apk that's over here after you have pasted what you need to do is head over to permissions and click those boxes check those boxes and uncheck all the other boxes if any other is checked and then when you restart the phone and the apps that you have right now pasted over here gets installed so i have used up a lot of a lot of the free space that was provided say i have pasted the google play store play store apk the gmail apk the play services apk the google keep apk and the youtube apk and the sony ericsson music apk by deleting the apollo apk from here so to uninstall you can just delete an apk and it will be deleted once you restart the phone and i have also deleted the google now apks because i don't really use google now and it doesn't really work that nice on this device and it also hog up your ram so the next thing you would need to do you know is that like install just those apps that you would need on this rom or you'd need to use on your phone say every one of us uses a phone differently so some say likes to manage multiple email accounts so you can have multiple email applications some say like to browse and text and listen to occasional music that would be me say so i have apps like messenger whatsapp the walkman application and opera mini for occasional browsing i have gtalk and i have google Co keep because i keep some notes and send occasional emails from my devices so what this actually does is keeps your internal memory free so you need at least I guess 40 MB or 230 MB of internal space free to have a smooth experience. So I have around 61 MB free of over here right now. So you need around 50 MB to 55 MB free at all times to get a smooth experience on this device. So I recommend you don't install apps that do not run on the background. Say I have WhatsApp and Messenger apps that run on the background. And these are the things that you can say that would run with all Google apps with all Google ROMs and all Android ROMs so the keyboard media and the Google services except that I have only WhatsApp and Messenger that's running in the background so the lesser apps that run in the background the faster your phone runs so make sure that you don't install too many apps that run on the background say I, if I installed Hike or some other messengers or WeChat and stuff it would also run in the background hog my RAM and make my device slower so that's another process by which you can you know make your ROM faster so the lesser RAM you use up and the more RAM you have free at all times the faster your phone runs also what you can another thing you can do is like just head over to recovery clear your cache and clear your Dalvik cache from time to time to get a smoother experience on the ROM next we come to battery so to save battery life what you can really do is turn off sync and give GPS Wi-Fi and Bluetooth switched off unless you are really using them the sink eats up a lot of battery, you just keep the sink off and you would get around 10 hours to 12 hours of battery life on heavy usage and around 5 to 6 hours on not, uh, 
five to six hours not like say you need get a day on average usage one more thing that you can do is head over to system settings and go to location access and turn off the location access when you are not really using it because first of all this hogs up some amount of internal your RAM and also it uses some of, some of your battery so if these things does help these things are really small and really small things that you'd be doing but together they accumulate to be a lot and they affect your phone performance and phone memory a lot so you can use all these steps to get a faster ROM and a faster UI and a faster experience on your Samsung Galaxy Mini even when you're using uh, you know a heavy OS like the Jelly Bean so thanks for watching like this video this helps us a lot subscribe for more videos like this the upcoming videos would be the Android 4.3 installation guide and the Android 4.3 review on the Samsung Galaxy Mini thanks for watching peace